All right, guys, welcome back. Now, recently, it's been quite hard to film podcasts because I can't have people around my house because of lockdown. And so what I thought I'd do instead during this time is to interview some of my friends and get them to answer some questions that I think will be beneficial to everybody and are quite interesting. So first up on this series, we have my friend Maticus. The next question, top five most important healthcare tips for people our age. So I think the most important one is to take accountability for your own health because no one else is going to force you to do things in a certain way. Like no one's going to tell you or force you to do exercise. You've got to do that yourself. You've got to eat right and treating your body like a machine. That's That would be the most important tip. Second most important tip would be exercise. It's honestly the best free drug with very little side effects. You know, picking something that you enjoy doing with sports. So for me, I do gymnastics, trampolining. I like doing flips, strength training, calisthenics at the gym. So I just feel really fulfilled doing it. I feel like I've done something worthwhile with my day. I, I just don't feel like the day is complete off until I've done my exercise. Number three, I would say is nutrition. Nutrition is a very undervalued aspect of health. People will go to the gym, they'll work out and they'll go eat McDonald's afterwards and wonder why they're sore the next day or why they're not putting on muscle. I'd say eating like a 70% healthy whole foods diet and then the other 30% you can play around with, you know, have the odd pizza, cake, things like that. And I think as well, like if you don't provide your body with the right kinds of nutrients, the right building blocks, how can you expect to recover after training hard? How can you expect to recover from your injuries quicker? These three things, if you do it properly, like exercise, nutrition, taking accountability for your own health, then I think you can avoid a lot of health issues in general. A lot of people in the public will always opt for medications and, and medications are just so overly prescribed. Oh, I've got a bit of pain in my arm. Oh, I'm gonna take paracetamol, I'm gonna take this drug, that drug, instead of actually doing the exercise or you know, managing your pain in the right way, not using drugs. So for me, I, I never take any painkillers or anything. even if I have a quite nasty injury, I just use maybe a bit of ice and rehab it properly because I don't wanna affect my body's natural healing process. Okay, anyway, sorry, I digressed a little bit. Um, tip number four, I'd say sleep. Sleep, like nutrition, is extremely undervalued and I think possibly even more so because for nutrition, like we, in terms of food, our mother nature has allowed us to evolve fat storage for times of food being scarce. So you put on weight, put on fat cells, fat storage. You basically put on fat and it helps you to survive in times when there's no food. Whereas with sleep, there's no sleep bank. There's no sleep storage. Mother nature has not provided that. So we need to sleep and is recommended seven to nine hours per night. And of course, I mean, I remember back in the day, people used to brag about how little sleep they would get and oh, you know, I was up at 1am and I got four hours sleep and bragging about that. And I realize now after doing my own research, how stupid that is, because you're affecting your own cognitive development, you know. And I guess tip number five is to, I know a lot of my friends drink a lot of alcohol and smoke. I don't do either of those things because I know that both of those things are going to have a negative effect on my performance in the gym as well as my health. So I think the fifth tip is just to Try and steer clear of any drugs because, yeah, drugs are not good. 